Well, the province of Manitoba is pumping millions of dollars into polar bears. The money will be used for research and rescue and help solidify Manitoba's title as the polar bear capital. CTV Susan Tomofichuk reports. This is where one of Winnipeg's most famous residents lived. Debbie the polar bear came as an orphan and called this home for decades until she died in 2008. And now the province has announced money to save more polar bears. There are some uh, bears that just cannot survive in the wild. This will give them an appropriate facility in order to continue to survive. $31 million is being spent on a rescue shelter and exhibit at Assiniboine Park, a first of its kind in North America. It will help orphaned and injured animals find homes in other zoos and will feature a polar bear enclosure with underwater and above ground viewing areas. Premier Greg Selinger is calling it a signature piece of the $180 million Assiniboine Park redevelopment project. It will link Winnipeg and Manitoba to northern Manitoba for tourism and allow people to make those connections. They can come here and see the magnificent creatures called polar bears. There are under a thousand polar bears living in northern Manitoba around the western Hudson Bay area. Warmer weather means less ice and less seal hunting for bears, so they are forced to turn on their young. So Hudson Bay polar bear populations are probably going to be one of the uh, most severely and first affected bears uh, with climate change and issues surrounding that. So it's a real advantage for Manitoba to have it here in Winnipeg. These developments will unequivocally position Manitoba as the polar bear capital of the world. Susan Tomofacek, CTV News, Winnipeg.